Amen to this. I don't question Donald Trump's loyalty to our country. And here's why. If, if it doesn't matter how many people say, well, he's only in it for himself and this and that. The guy has been, what is it, 92 or 97 felony charges now. He's, he's being held up in a court of law. He is, uh, his bank account is being cleaned out by all of these various charges and rulings that are coming through. The guy is losing money. He is being attacked relentlessly. He has the Department of Justice being weaponized against him. You look at all these things that he's going through. One of the court cases he has now was only picked up again uh, after he announced he was running. Previously, they had looked at the charges and said, yeah, there's nothing here. We're not going to pursue this. Why would a guy like him put himself through that if not motivated by a desire to serve our country and to save our country from the Biden-Harris administration, the Democrat elite, who are actually destroying it. They are actually taking away our freedom. They are actually going after our kids. They are taking parents' rights away from them. They are making our country less secure through open borders. We can go down the laundry list of, of very, very serious challenges. These aren't Democrat or Republican problems. They are problems that affect every one of us. So, you know, if, if I were in a position, if Donald Trump said, hey, here's what I think we should do, what do you think? And if I did not feel it was the right thing for the country, I would absolutely tell him so and respect the office that, that he holds. But I, I'm, not, I, 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 I'm not chasing any titles. I'm not chasing any jobs. I'm chasing the opportunity to be in, be in the most impactful position to save our country because there is nothing short of our future and our freedom that is at stake in this election. God bless this woman. I agree with everything she said. Donald Trump, if he wanted to, could be sitting somewhere right now on an island, enjoying the rest of his life, playing golf, still making money. But no, he chose to do this instead, fixing this country, going against these evil Democrats who are trying to put him in jail for the rest of his life. So yes, he loves this country. You let me know what you think about that in the comment section. God bless you and your family. Catch you on the next one.